Here at the Green Desert, you guys know we are all about self-sufficiency and food plays a huge role in that. In fact, I truly believe food brings us not only energy, but it brings us information. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. And here at the Green Desert, we're all about eating green, getting sun, staying grounded, and that's, that's just our lifestyle. That is our lifestyle, and that's why we try and make so many of our meals from the backyard garden or things that or you can buy at the farmer's market for those of you who aren't gardening. But a lot of you guys do ask us, you email us about ways to spice things up. You want recipe, recipe ideas. Yeah. You want a relationship with your food. Absolutely. And something new was created. Oh yes, that's what I want food to do for me. Me too. <laughs> so today we're giving it a try. We're making ratatouille. All right, so let's talk about the ingredients that we need. First, we're gonna need oh, your... Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna wait because we she said be to wait. Safe. We need aprons. Well, they're cute, so I'll take it okay, safety okay. first. Great. Because when you're cooking, if you don't um, have your apron on, you're gonna mess up your clothes. Can happen. That's it. You're gonna mess up your clothes. So <laughs> All right. Why don't you let's start telling them what we need? All right. So we're go. gonna need a red or no, it's just a red bell pepper, red bell pepper. an orange or yellow bell pepper, eggplant. You eggplant. You need one zucchini, one squash a half an onion, mm -hmm. a quarter cup of your garlic. You need some tomato paste. Six, six ounces, ounces of, that. of that. The recipe, and we looked at different recipes, the recipe calls for thyme leaves, a teaspoon. I don't have any, so I do have some thyme, some ground thyme, so we're gonna mm -hmm. use that. And then you can't forget your olive oil. I think about three tablespoons of that yep. for the whole recipe. And then cheese, it's a um, mascarpone. <laughs> <laughs> she had the accent and everything. I, did. I don't know if she said it right, Last but phone okay, so what that is, because we really didn't know what it was, but it's similar to cream cheese. So I went with a probiotic cream cheese instead, but use whatever you want. The nice thing about this recipe, it's pretty, it's vegetables, like I said, things from the backyard. So use whatever vegetables you like or vegetables that you have. Self-sufficiency is also about don't spend too much money, use what you have. Agreed? Yeah, agreed. All right, so let's start cooking. Let's start cutting. All right. You're cutting. I'm cutting? Yes. Oh, <clears throat> right. So for those of you who have not watched our off-grid adventures, Sophia, she's kind of my counterpart there. We don't let her cut a lot of things. No. Right? Because I'm left-handed. You know, left-hand, you know. I, I, Did you just say left-handed people No, it's just cut? weird for me when you can't show. Just cut. Just cut. I'm left. -handed. I just think that you just cut on the other end. No, it doesn't work like that. Just. <laughs> <laughs> And then again, you just want the little slices. So we're just gonna slice like that. Keep them thin. So first, we gotta preheat the oven to 375. All right, so the first step is we want to spread our tomato paste here in the bottom. You wanna Take Alright, so we're gonna sprinkle the garlic. garlic. It smells so good. So don't make this when you're hungry. No. Because no, you won't ready. finish making it. And then we're gonna sprinkle the onion and a tablespoon of olive oil. Now for the pretty time. And this this is where you can just be creative because if you look online, you're gonna see so many of these ratatouille recipes that just look different, but they're all pretty. So really we're just going to alternate. Okay. Right? So, so for example, like we would do one of those and then we would do something like that and that and that, right? And then we keep going. Yep. All right, let's do it. Just Come on. keep making it go around. So again, you make this how you want. A lot of recipes, and it's a little slower to do it that way too, but you're doing kind of patterns and things mm -hmm. like that. So that's what, what she's doing right now is just making it pretty. And because she's better with designing and all that stuff than I am, 
I'm gonna let she her have it. She said it. Okay. That's, you can have one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it seems simple enough. The preparation is actually pretty easy. Once you get everything cut up, it's yeah. really just, just getting this all here. together and then throwing it in the oven. a little bit of seasoning so that's our time it says a half a teaspoon I'll be honest I don't always follow yeah recipe measurements well, so just salt, season it up I get a little closer with salt okay um, I'm not gonna but go ahead and measuring. sprinkle about a half a teaspoon yeah that's a lot <laughs> that's more salt a couple sprinkles there you can do whatever you like, Italian seasoning, pepper, whatever floats your boat. What we're going to do now is put our parchment paper or wax paper mm -hmm. to cover this, and then it's going to bake in the oven for about 45 minutes. Yep, till they're nice and roasted. There you are. that apron protecting you from burning yourself? What's better for this? <laughs> it's ready, I wrap it too. It's ready. All right, let's turn the glue off. Oh, ooh. I can't even see oh, it, it but it smells amazing. Oh, wow. Bring it, bring it right here. Right there? Right there. You wanna take oh. that? Are you ready to take a look at that? Oh, that is yummy looking. Oh, yeah. And that's it. So, again, you guys know you can use whatever vegetables you love, whether it's the taste or the look. It just, oh, I can't wait to eat it. You can add other things to it, like cheeses or mascarpone. <laughs> <laughs> she just learned that word. So definitely buy that cheese. We did a cream cheese. Drop mm. it on there. And that's it. I'm very, very excited. Oh my goodness. There he is. Here. Ooh, even the cheese smells good. I think we're both hungry. All right, we're just about done here, guys. So that again, that's our backyard to uh, kitchen recipe of the day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video. Let us know if there are any other recipes you want us to try out. Send us pictures, all of the above. And don't forget to ring that bell. Mm. I did not, it's so amazing. Expect that to be so good, go ahead. Oh, that's so good and definitely the cheese. You have to have the cheese with it. Oh my God. Okay, so now do you feel like the guy did in the video? I just want to suck my thumb. <laughs> I just want to go back to childhood. <laughs>